Hey guys, I'm Farmer Brad and I'm here on location at my grandmother's house and I'm going to set her up with an irrigation system for her garden. Uh, we don't really know whether or not the summer's going to be have some hot spells, but uh, figure might as well set her up with a timer and this irrigation and then drip tape it up. So uh, let's get to this and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so the first thing I want to get in place is this main line. So I'll, I'll, I'll just walk it down. Now this end down here has a plug on it and this will be secured up there, but I don't want to secure it yet because if I need to add any more of these going down here, I want to be able to punch those in easily. Let's see. And then here is a regulator. So it reduces the PSI down to 10 PSI. And let's see that bowl valve up there like that and then I have this timer and then that will give me some wiggle room for feeding the garden hose in there actually you can Nice to have that other one hooked on there because I don't think you can fill the bucket up. Yeah. So I'm putting a little bit of Teflon tape. Okay, that should be good there. I'll hook up the other end of the hose. First you hooked it in the other green one. No. Yeah, there's two things. Yeah. yeah, that that hose uh, works good as far as I get that out of the grass. That seems to work. I just gotta tighten this. And let's see. Okay, it looks like I should be able to fasten this on there pretty good. And this snaps on there. Has this little collar. Okay, if you could turn it back on again. Okay, shut it off.
Okay, so I definitely need to put a lot more Teflon tape on this in order to keep it from leaking. Okay, can, can you turn the, the water back on? Yeah. So fingers crossed that this will work. If not, I'll go directly into that. Okay, shut it off. I'm going to pre-twist this and thread it back on. Okay, so I have that there. Now we'll get the uh, drip tape in place. Do you have the knife by chance or um, some or yeah. yeah. So the blue side has the little slits in there which are precisioned um so that they let out an equal amount of water. So I'm gonna bring this first line up. You wanna make sure that this is as square as possible. Now I might be able to put the timer up at the house. That way, that, if that leaks, it only leaks for however long you have the garden hose on. There we go. So you just want to slide that all the way up and then turn it down onto it. And I'll I'm going to show you some highlights before uh, I switch over to the, plate, right? the yeah. time lapse montage. So, the way to terminate the ends of these is you slide this on the end, fold this back. Then you slide it all the way down. Then we'll put a few stakes in here to keep that down. And then we'll move on to the next one. Now these I brought some plugs for. And I should be able to yank that out. And then these are called goof plugs. Yeah, so I'd say the big end needs to go back in there. And there we go. And then pull this one out.
So this is a piercing tool and it makes the hole in your trunk line. You sort of push that, makes the little hole and you can push that in there. And that's all good to go. Now I'm pretty sure that I don't have any more of those termination collars. So I think one trick is cutting a little piece bending it over then you can sort of make it smaller like that and then just fold it back like that Hey guys, so I wanted to just wrap things up before I run out of space on the camera. But uh, as you can tell, this is uh, basically, I still have to do some uh, finish up where I uh, cut these shorter. But uh, this is what a simple drip irrigation system looks like. And what's nice is you can customize it and uh, improve upon it each year. So thanks for watching this video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, stay safe out there. And until next time, bye.